Hello, chemistry people. Are we ready for some practice? Sample problem number one. In a combustion reaction, 46.0 grams of ethanol reacts with 96.0 grams of oxygen to produce water and carbon dioxide. If 54.0 grams of water is produced, how much carbon dioxide is produced? Wow, such a good question. Uh, well, we're gonna start by writing a general reaction here. We know we've got ethanol reacting with oxygen to form water and some carbon dioxide. We are also given the mass of ethanol that we start with, 46.0 grams. The mass of oxygen we start with is 96 0.0 grams and we know the amount of water that is formed 54.0 grams our goal should you choose to accept it is to determine how much carbon dioxide was also formed which I'll use X to represent that amount uh, this problem is just a straight up do you understand the law of conservation of mass and can you apply it to a really exciting problem uh, basic algebra skills here, we're just going to add together our reactant side and we get a mass of 142.0 grams on the reactant side. On the product side, we've got our 54 grams of water and our unknown amount of carbon dioxide, but we know that Together, the sum of the water and carbon dioxide must equal the 142.0 grams. So all we need to do is subtract our 54.0 grams from either side of the equation to get our mass of carbon dioxide formed, whoa, which is 88.0 grams. Boom final answer. Okay, on to the next problem. Question numero dos. And tres. Uh, it says a sample of chloroform is found to contain 12.0 grams of carbon, 106.4 grams of chlorine, and 1.01 grams of hydrogen. If a second sample of chloroform is found to contain 30.0 grams of carbon, question two, how many grams of chlorine does it contain? And question three, how many grams of hydrogen does it contain? Well, Let's take a look at the carbon, which is the information that we're provided with originally in uh, both the initial sample and in the second sample. If we compare the amount of 30 grams of carbon to 12 grams of carbon, we get that it's about 2.5 times larger in the second sample than it is in the first sample. Uh, what this tells us is due to the law of definite proportions that uh, our masses of chlorine and hydrogen will also be 2.5 times larger in that second sample. So if we take a look at and try and solve for the mass in grams of chlorine, we just take the 106.4 grams of chlorine in the original sample, 4 grams chlorine, and multiply it by 2.5 to get a mass in the second sample of 266 grams of chlorine. Boom, answer. If we look at the third question, uh, same thing for determining grams of hydrogen. It's just taking the original amount in that original sample, the 1.01 grams of hydrogen, multiplying it by 2.5 uh, to give us 2.53 grams of hydrogen. And there you go. Boom. Done. Give me the next one. 